this, this thing right here is gone completely out. Is the problem. Yeah, it's gone. Mash that clutch, Harold. Hang on just a second. All right, mash that clutch, Harold. All right, you can let this let off of it there. Oh yeah, got my truck back last night. See so right here. The final prognosis on it was they replaced the valve body in the transmission. There was no metal in it, no other damage or anything like that. And the truck is a complete, that's Kevin up there I'm chasing right now too. The truck is a completely different truck now. It evidently it had been since I drove it off the lot that transmission had been jacked up. But see, I didn't have nothing to compare it to because my old truck, you know, it, it was a it was a standard shift, and uh, I just knew it. I knew it shifted weird and wasn't right. But then when it started when it started throwing the fits that it was throwing, you know, a few weeks ago. You know, then I, you know I knew something was something was wrong then. But it kind of sucks because I was without the truck eight days this last time, and then I was without it from let's see, Tuesday four days the, the the other time. Now, if you were a guy making a living out of this truck, you know, man, that that's not cool. That that that's not cool at all because I mean you, you take what this truck cost and then you being down on top of that I mean that just kind of that's kind of tough but I will say this uh, this is a nice truck I don't care if you hate Dodge with a passion you wouldn't get out on the side of the road and pee on me to help me if I was on fire I don't care this is a nice truck. I drove a bunch of different things over the last couple weeks. That uh, that Hemi that I drove, that Bighorn truck that I drove uh, last week, I actually took it back to the shop, our shop, Friday, and got out of it and got back in my 03. I did not like that Bighorn at all. Uh, if you want a truck that will freaking leave here and run like a scalded dog, buy you one of those trucks that's got a Hemi in it, man. That I've driven some Corvettes that would not run like that truck will run. I've driven some Mustangs that would not run like that truck would run. But to get back to this truck here, it did it the the way it shifts and everything now is the way that I felt like it should have. But like I said, I didn't have nothing to compare it to. So I hey, start this started this video off, man. What'd you think about that that bearing and that transmission of that big truck? That thing was gone, wasn't it, dog? That thing was. I could stick my fingers up in between that that hole on that thing. So I'll be back in just a uh, just a second. So that bearing you saw in the front of that video was on Harold's truck on his uh, on his Peterbilt. We've done. We've already done. Got it fixed and back going and all that good stuff. That was a couple weeks ago. But that truck there, I'll just drive it till it messes up again. Whatever. Maybe, maybe I won't really have any more uh, troubles with it now or anything. But uh, hopefully, I won't. We will. Uh, we will see. Let me go back here and get my glasses right quick. Y'all, check this out. Good morning, Worthless. How are you doing this morning? Good. How about yourself? What up? The hell you hunting this morning? <laughs> hey, you gotta go when you can. What up? I mean, we work all day, so we gotta all go right. when you can. What up? Somebody coming to pick that deer up or yeah. what? Daddy. <laughs> Come to get it, man. He fussing at me saying he needs some deer meat. Uh, okay. This fool got a dead deer in the back of his truck. He done shot this morning and sent me his Snapchat on it. That's what we're talking about right there. Ain't that right? That's how you get it done, ain't it? Man, when you gotta go, you gotta go. Smoke down, meat Smoke down, baby. Alright, get your butt to work, man. That's right. Good grief, man. You just don't know what you're gonna learn in my videos, man. Here's Danny in his new truck right there. That truck did go down on us yesterday on this maiden voyage. Hang on, I'll tell you about it here in just a second. <laughs> oh, man. All right, right there. I'll tell you, if you want an adventure, 
if you own an adventure, be a freaking logger, man. You will have you an adventure. What happened with that truck was, uh, evidently when they hooked up the lower radiator hose on it, they uh, didn't tighten the clamp all the way down. That thing didn't lose. Now listen, that thing did not lose but about a half a gallon of water is all it lost, and it shut that truck down, Jack. Luckily, he was just right here. Uh, he had hauled a load, was coming back from his first load, and uh, the he was probably two, two and a half miles from where we we're sitting at right here when it went down, so we just ran some water antifreeze down there, tightened the clamp, topped it back off, she was good to go. So, oh, always something going on, man. Y'all see those deer legs sticking up out of Chad's truck right there? That's a doe right there. He's got a place that's only about three or four miles from where we're working at uh, that he can hunt. Yeah, I think he actually owns it over there, I believe, or whatever, but he slept over there this morning and shot that doe over there for uh, right as it was getting light, man. He shot He sent me a Snapchat. It was still just, just breaking light when he blasted that thing over there. That's pretty funny. His dad's gonna come over here in just a second and pick that thing, pick it up. Y'all hear him coming. I'm finna wrap this video up with Chad coming in to Kevin. I just got in off my loader there. Walk over here. You can watch him. He just drove over coming up that hill to Kevin right there. Those bogies are nearly unstoppable, man, with that drag. This is that turbo when they come in. That machine is so smooth, man. So smooth. I just want to treat y'all to that right there. Because the new ones don't sound like that. The E's, they don't sound like that because of all the emissions junk that's on them. They quiet them, quiet them down. You got Jeff. Jeff's over there. He's over there brushing the hill right now. They're talking about a little rain maybe coming in. He's setting brush over there, kind of scattering brush. And Chad's feeding Kevin all by himself, but I'm gonna let y'all go for today. I hope y'all enjoyed today's video. A lot of different stuff in it. Chad's dad come picked up the deer a while ago, he got it, so he'll go clean it for Chad. And uh, hope you have a good rest of the week. Subscribe to my videos if you like them. You can find me on Instagram too, it's real good. Post some cool pictures on there that I don't put anywhere else anything but y'all have a good day good rest of the week and uh we'll catch y'all later later taters